Hi friends, how are you? My name is Kiara and today I'm gonna do um, the unboxing of the latest stash box from Rebs Fab Stash. And we're gonna do this together because I've had it for about a week and I kept wanting to do this and I just had no time. So I figured let me get it done today while my husband's riding the Peloton and the kids are outside eating lunch. So this is a subscription box from Rebs Fab Stash. That's just my invoice. Um, this is how it comes all packaged, really pretty. Um, so here we go. Okay, stash box. <gasps> okay, so we get a card every month and the theme this month is Christmas in July. Oh, I like these. Okay, so. And this month, the recipe, we get a recipe every month, and this is oatmeal cake. And there was a little correction, so we will, I don't have a, let me, sorry about that. Um, let me just clip these together, and I'll take a Sharpie to that later. Okay, so this month, we have a stash, this month's stash block kit, a holly block perfect for your next winter project. Okay, so we have two mini quilts. Okay, so this is the holly block, and it comes with everything to make a holly block. Um, so it's really cute. So there it is. And then we have, this is a, um, a project theme box, and you get usually get two or three projects. So then we have an ornament, folded tree ornament, a fun, simple ornament project to complement your tree. Oh, and they have a YouTube tutorial, so I'll have to look check that out. So there's this. This is the ornament. I might make this because this looks really kind of cool. That's really cute. So this is that. And then another. Oh, and then we got a log cabin tree. Log cabin tree skirt pattern, the perfect pattern to make a tree skirt, tablecloth, or ornaments. So there's this. Um, then we have our exclusive Reb Swab stash, um, and this is gonna come in handy. I was looking for a ruler the other day. I'm actually not even gonna put this back in the box. I'm gonna take it out, and it's very cute. It's a six inch ruler. I'm just gonna put that right there. And then we have our exclusive unique fat quarter, no two are alike, Christmas themed. And this is a holly berry pattern. I'm not gonna unwrap it because it's wrapped so cute. And then we have Okay, hold on. I just want to check something. Okay, so Then we have a tree and present mini quilt. So I think I'm gonna actually do these as mini quilts. You can make them pillows, but I think I'm gonna do mini quilts. And then it, let's check the fabric out on this because this fabric actually looks super cute. So we have a pattern to do something, but we'd have to provide our own fabric. I probably won't do this because I have um, a Christmas tree skirt that my mom made me um, and then I have a couple Disney themed ones that I love okay patchwork tree and present so we'll need what I will need is three quarters inch of backing and a 27 inch square of batting I have pieces of that so that's good and then I'll just need binding if I'm doing a mini quilt. So the finished pillow size is 24 by 24 for both of them. So here's the tree. Oh, and these are from, these are Flamingo Toes patterns, so. And here's the present, so. Oh, and I think this is Flamingo Toes fabric. 
This is actually really cool if this is because I have a quilt kitted up with Flamingo Toes fabric. So we've got this, which goes in both. And then we have, oh, and this must be um, two and a half strip compatible because I have a bunch of two and a half strips here. I'm trying to get them so you can see them. And I know that these are all Flamingo Toes because this camper pattern is Flamingo Toes and that's what I have for, um, so I might definitely do this and then maybe get out my um, Flamingo Toes pattern that I didn't do last year. Pat Sloan had um, hosted a quilt along and I just got so sidetracked. And then here are the other prints I have. This pretty red, Argyle, pink and red Argyle, pink presents, and this green Argyle. Oh, okay. So the pink, this is the border print. And then Oh, and I bet you this one goes in the Christmas tree. I'll have to read how they work because I'm not entirely sure. But these are for the, both the quilts. And then we have this Lori Holt bee background, um, bee cross stitch um, background for those. I really like this. I'm going to definitely do this one because these, uh, these look like something I can accomplish in a weekend. I'm kind of waiting for kids to go back to school so I can do some more stuff. So I like this. Do you think we're going to be able to get this back in the bag? Oh, yeah, I could get this back in the bag. I really love this. And let's look at the Christmas tree. But these um, these look like a couple half square, tri oh, flying geese, a half square triangles. The tree is, the Christmas tree is half square triangles and a flying geese. One flying geese. And it kind of looks very similar to another tree I had done from the Fat Quarter Shop. So this really shouldn't take too long. Yeah. And I think I'm going to do them both and then I'll just throw them both with the long arm at the same time. With the same back. And let's see, this present just looks like... Two and a half squares and <clears throat> nine patches. There's four nine, for this, there's four nine patches. Okay, yeah, these are gonna be relatively quick to do. So I'm excited about that. Lately, um, I just need stuff that I don't really need. I'm working on a quilt that I have to think about. Um, it's a free quilt along, but this looks like it's not thinking. This I'm gonna read, but this might wind up in a future giveaway. Um, let's look at this holly block. I really like this holly block. Oh, and this is from Fabric Needed. Let's see. Uh, oh, I think this is the back of there. So it's right there. Oh, how cute. Look at this fabric. This is for the Christmas tree. I, oh no, this isn't the Christmas tree. This is the holly block. This is really, really cute. Four square sewing flips. That's it. Nope. Possibly a half square triangle, but I don't think so. So that's cute. Let's look at that folded tree. This box, I'm probably going to do everything in it pretty quick because I really like this and I would like the stuff done for Christmas. I have a quilt on my quilt frame I've been working on. I'm actually, as soon as I film this video, I'm going to do it. Oh, I think this is Flamingo Toes fabric. I don't know what this is, but it's, all, it's 10 inch squares. One, two three. How many were? Oh, there's four. So I wonder how many. 
Oh, we're able to make two of these. That's really cool. That is so cool. So I have one tree that's kind of homesy looking, folky, homey, handmade ornaments, that kind of stuff, old fashioned. So I think that'll look really cute on it. So that is very cool. I'm excited. I really, really love this box. Anyway, how can you go wrong with a Christmas in July box? So, um, so if you're interested in the box, I'll link you. I'll leave you a link below. Um, it's from Reb's Fab Stash. It's a monthly subscription box. I believe you had to sign up for a certain number of months in advance. Okay, so I love it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to be having a floss tube with, with cross stitch and more quilting because I ha actually have been quilting lately. Um, thanks for stopping by. Have a great, it's Saturday, so have a great weekend and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.